Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I want to do a video to show you how to use an alert within TradingView so that you can be doing other things and allow the platform to monitor price action for you. I have here GFI on the chart, daily view. And if you remember from my video from yesterday or the day before, uh, I'm very long on this ticker. Gold is a good play right now in the market. And let's discuss how to use the alert to get a good entry um, while we're not uh, watching price action. All right, so you can see here a nice support line that goes all the way back to, uh, let's see here, to the July 20 timeframe. So this line right here, okay. At the moment, I'm making the strong assumption that this line will provide a very good support for GFI price. Zooming into the hourly, we can see that there is a, a downward channel. Okay, downward channel. So this would say it's a, um, there's likelihood, there's a likelihood depending on momentum uh, that price can get down to this trend line support. I do see though, as we're looking at this chart, that there is some uh, bullish momentum on the uh, hourly, okay? So it's possible that price may not get down there. But I don't have the time to monitor every single ticker. So I'm going to put a, an alert here. I'm already in the position, to be fair. But uh, I, do want, I would add to it if price got down here. So I'll just put a highlight down here for us to say, this is good entry, if you can get it. OK, so what I'm going to do is, if you observe to the right-hand side here, uh, the price markers, I'm going to put a Let's go up to about 269. So I'm at 269, right click, and I'm gonna select add alert. And there are just so many options from the perspective of oh, what do I use? I mostly use crossing down or crossing up, stating that if price crosses down uh, past a price point, and it will trigger a, an email, a pop-up on the TradingView app, and it'll also state, hey, I've got uh, an alert for you. You can give it a name if you want. Uh, usually I don't, I don't really have to, uh, but if you want, you know, for uh, perhaps you're new to this, you can say, okay, um, GFI hitting my support alert go law, okay? Just to help remind you and click create. All right, so what it does is it puts this little line here. You can see that it says uh, what I had just entered in as a comment, and then I can just forget about it, okay? And mainly from the aspect of, I don't have to watch it, uh, and go have dinner, go watch a movie, uh, do other things to, to be a well-rounded person and not watch charts all day. <laughs> which actually I'm, I'm jealous of those who can do that because I don't have the, the means to do that yet. Now, let's say you have a lot of alerts, okay? You can go over here to the far right and click on alerts and kind of uh, take a quick scan of which alerts have already been triggered or which ones are active. As you can see here, I've got a, a few that are active. I'm waiting on Apple to cross down a certain price point same thing with Starbucks and some other tickers here. Uh, there's also a log here for you to review uh, other alerts that have already been triggered. Okay. And that's it. Um, I'm just going to roll out here just so we can get a better view. Um, yeah, if you're able to get an entry, I really I think this would be a good one to play. Uh, price target. I think from here, maybe an exit at around there. Okay, so my exit is there. 
All right, uh, good luck with your trading. This is how to use an alert so that you don't have to be scanning the charts all day. Thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have uh, used an alert before or if you have a question on how to use one. Thanks.